monde changera. Je voudrais quand même vous reposer cette question. Pourquoi vous n'avez jamais gagné une seule guerre depuis les 70 ans Même la Seconde Guerre mondiale, s'il n'y avait pas eu la Russie, et que vous êtes venu prendre la cerise sur le gâteau, la face du monde aurait changé. J'ai du respect pour le peuple américain. Je ne comprends pas la politique, mais il est, il est temps parce que tous les jours, il y a des innocents, des morts syriens qui payent un lourd tribut et vous avez une responsabilité. Too many people have died for people to continue speaking in, uh, in terms that are unclear and, and just not, not speaking the truth. It's time we simply said what we know, whether it's classified information or not. All of you have seen the results of what we're saying. What we're saying will fit what has happened here and what facts you've been able to bring up. This, uh, our hypothesis is based on solid information solid research on the ground using human signals intelligence from our extensive capabilities. We don't guess. We know what we're, we're talking about here. Their motivation is largely economic. They're a criminal organization, but they're part of a worldwide criminal organization. And they're here in your territory taking your things, your factories, your lives, your people, for the enrichment of a very specific group of people who need to be held to account. This is, it's almost as though it's a police, a, a police problem. This is crime. This terrorism that you're suffering is worldwide crime on a scale we have never seen before. There has never been anything like this. I appreciate your statements and I recognize the truth and honesty of what you were saying but I do believe there are areas of misunderstanding how the United States works politically. And this is, a, this is a problem, a tremendous problem in the Middle East, and one of the things that's driven us here is it's very difficult to understand what has happened as far as Israeli control of American politics. And I, as, as succinctly as possible, I will explain this to you. أنا أقدر تماما ما تقولونه وأقدر أيضا نزاهته وشفافية ما تقولونه لكن في نفس الوقت هناك بعض سوء الفهم حول طريقة عمل الولايات المتحدة سياسيا وطبيعة علاقتها بالولايات المتحدة ونحن وأرى ذلك في المنطقة من فشل بعض العمليات وهذا ما نستطيع أن نعمل عليه in 2005, the Supreme Court of the United States uh, had, a, had a decision on a case called Citizens United. The decision of the Supreme Court legalized unlimited corporate bribery. This turned control of the Congress of the United States over to human traffickers, narcotics traffickers, and particular the most powerful individual in the United States today is a gambling boss named Sheldon Adelson, an Israeli citizen who fled the U.S. living in Macau, spent over one billion dollars in the last election and bought control of both houses of Congress. Now Senator John McCain, the father of al-Nusra, the father of ISIS, will be running U.S. legislative and military foreign policy. في عام 2005 أصدرت المحكمة الأمريكية العليا حكما في قضية تتعلق بتنظيم يسمى Citizens United أو مواطنون متحدون في الواقع فوضت فيها مجموعات إجرامية كبرى. للمتجرين بالبشر وتجار المخدرات بالسيطرة على الكونغرس الأمريكي 
وهناك مواطن يحمل الجنسية الإسرائيلية مواطن أمريكي يحمل الجنسية الإسرائيلية هرب من الولايات المتحدة ويقيم حاليا في ماكاو أنفق في الانتخابات السابقة مليار دولار وهو ما يمكن السناتر جون ماكين الذي أسميه الأب الروحي لجبهة النصرة ناضجا برؤيته ومعرفته كالأصدقاء الذين رأيناهم هنا American generals like General McInerney and General, General Paul Vallely, specialists in psychological warfare, helped organize Daesh, have traveled in and out of your country here, Syria, over and over, as has Senator John, John McCain, meeting with Al-Qaeda, an organization created by the American, Saudi, and Israeli defense forces or, and, and, and intelligence services. هناك جنرالات امريكيون Only a little over a week ago the US Secretary of Defense Charles Hagel Chuck Hagel resigned Chuck Hagel was the individual that stopped the United States from bombing Syria over the false flag gas attacks near Aleppo um. تعلمون جميعا أن وزير الدفاع الأمريكي تشاك هيجل استقال استعمال سوريا للسلاح الكيميائي. It was our organization here that supplied the intelligence that stopped those attacks. ومنظمتنا كانت هي المنظمة التي قدمت المعلومات الاستخباراتية التي أدت إلى وقف هذا الهجوم على سوريا. It's our goal here while we're here. to try to establish a method of communication that will allow Syria and other nations within the area to understand Israel's control of the U.S., the control of the U.S. by organized crime, and how the U.S. government is subservient to a worldwide criminal organization. Our goal here is to build a network of